This is the VTech in a tab and it can play custom movies that you upload to it in a special format and I have other videos that show you how to do that. The thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to get videos. custom icons or thumbnails by your videos because chances are this is probably for a kid who doesn't know how to read. Now most of the time it has the standard uh, movie projector icons here so your kid has no idea what movie he's watching until they click on one of them and they find out. Up here at the top I have two uh, videos that have the icons in them, the uh, thumbnails. And I created these thumbnails from other JPEGs that I downloaded and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you want to do is find out the names of some videos that you have. And these are trailers, not full length movies. And they, video to watch. I have a Cars 2 and a Despicable Me. So the first thing we need to do is get a picture of that represents those two movies. Next we want to come to uh, Amazon.com and we're going to search for the title of the movie that we are looking for. And then in the results, it's like here I'm searching for Cars 2. This picture looks like it represents Cars 2 pretty well. We'll click on that. All right, now we have an icon here or a picture here and we want to save this picture. We'll do save image as and we will call it Cars 2. Cars 2, save. Alright, if you're using Chrome it shows up down here and you can click on this and say show in folder. So here's here's the actual Cars 2 JPEG file that I just saved. We want to right click on it and do open with and Microsoft Paint. Now when you make icons for the inner tab they have to to be square and so we need to uh, we need to change this uh, file here to be square obviously so what we want to do is we want to select this and we're going to select uh, most of the area that we want one to keep sorry I'm trying to do this and talk same time Select most of the area you want to keep and we're going to shove this up over into the corner like this to where we get about what we want the icon to look like. So about like that where I shoved it up over there. I, I clicked on select and selected it and moved it up. Now we want to resize this and you resize it by grabbing this corner and you want to make this square. Well, how can you tell if it's square? Down here in the bottom it tells you uh, what the sizes are and you want to adjust this until you get it square up here I got I got it selected but it's not quite like I want I want a bit more of Lightning McQueen alright so here I have a square picture and you can tell it's square because it's 12 or 212 by 212 pixels so at that point at this point we just want to save this I've got a little save icon Okay, now this is where we're going to have to download the uh, link that's in the description and it's going to download a uh, thumbnail editor that another guy wrote and he posted it out on the uh, Yahoo Groups forums for uh, the Initab, uh, Initabbers in a tab customizers in a tab customizing group he posted it out here you have to be a member to access it you can download from here or you can use the URL that I have in the uh, description and it has you have to get two files you have to get the in a tab thumbnail editor.exe which is actual editor and you also need to get this S this DLL file which is right here with these two files together it'll work and you have to put them in the same directory once you have the file downloaded, it's called ite.zip, you will want to open it up and extract the files, the two files here, extract them somewhere, and we will put them in here, continue, yes. Alright, so here are the two files, the Initab Thumbnail Editor and SQLite and the actual zip file that I downloaded. But then you will want to double click on this and if you don't have your inner tab connected it will look like this so make sure you have your inner tab connected first 
And now with the init tab plugged in, we can double click on this and it pulls up this pretty GUI that was written by NIVZ. He is a member over in the Yahoo groups, the init tab customizers, and he posted this out there for us and he's not charging anything for it. It is free right now. So you can see here, they all the videos you have on your init tab should be listed and also uh, the thumbnails be shown here and also if you want you can sort your videos alphabetically because the way they are on there now is not alphabetical well it's not alphabetical but alphabetical by default but you can click this and it'll sort them alphabetically and then whatever order they're in over here is the order they'll show up in on the inner tab so here's cars 2 and there is no thumbnail so we'll click on change thumbnail and let me browse to the location so here's the Cars 2 thumbnail. I click open and sticks it in there. It's on Cars 2. And I will shut this off now. You don't have to save, it just saves it automatically. Shut that off. And over back on the end tab, we'll disconnect the USB. Wait for it to figure out that this, it got disconnected. An icon to get started. Videos. Here are the videos, and hopefully we'll see a Cars 2 video uh, thumbnail next to the Cars 2. And look at that. There's the Cars 2 icon. So to give you a quick summary, you need to find the name of the movie, download a picture off of the web, probably like Amazon.com, and then you need Don't to resize it so that it's square, and then you need to download the uh, zip file the in a tab thumbnail editor from the link in the description you need to use the thumb uh, in a tab thumbnail editor to select to the movie and then select the thumbnail and then as soon as you select it it is saved automatically and it's ready for you to start using if you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll try to help you thanks oh yeah It's nice having thumbnails.